Hey guys, and welcome to episode 39 of Zerg's Feed the Beast Season 3 Let's Play. I'm out here at my orchard, and I changed it up a little bit. Um, one, I was able to get all of the trees to grow. Uh, what I found out was happening was the arcane lamps right here, they cast invisible light. And you notice it every now and then when I go to build something, you see those glimmers of light. Well, not only do those glimmers of light get in the way, but the invisible light that you can't see and you can't break uh, that is cast from these arcane lamps also uh, stops stuff from growing, mainly trees. And so I had to, to break... It was uh, this one right here. So I had to break it, and then I was able to bone mill my trees. The other thing that I did was I actually just picked three kinds of trees and planted three of each. That way, when I go to harvest them, it's a lot easier for me to program something in my, my system. So that'll get me more fruit salad with um, without having to deal with all those different kinds of fruit. So I ended up with, um, I think it was, I know these are pears, and I think these are peaches, and then these are plums. Now, uh, unfortunately with this version of Wela, it just says drum. Everything basically just says drum. So uh, I believe that's fixed in a, in a newer version of Wela, but we're a little bit behind on the server here. Now, this episode, um, I'm not really worried about food or, or doing anything with cooking or different, you know, food materials. This episode, I thought, you know what, let's, let's do something um, a little bit different. Now, we have been doing the food, and that is a little bit different than the tech stuff that I normally do. But I thought, you know what, let's play around with a little bit of magic. And you can see here I still have one skill point, so I'm not sure where I want to put it. Mm, well, those are green. Those are cool. I might not have many uh, green places that I can still put stuff. Actually, I don't think... or blue, sorry. I don't think I've done anything in utility, so I can definitely still use some blue um, skill points. And here in offensive, I've I've gotten just about everything. And defensive, I think I've gotten just about everything that's that's blue, except for like swim. Let's do swim. I'm not really gonna make a spell right now, but you know what? It's it's good to use up my points. Now, other than leveling, which if we pull out a spell here, like a heal spell, you can see there. I'm level 18 uh, for Ars Magica. Now, once I hit 20, what will happen is I'll start getting green skill points. And we'll be able to get a little bit uh, better uh, spells and, and different components. But there's another way to get blue skill points. Because once I hit level 20, I won't be getting blue ones anymore. And I still have bounce and gravity and lightning damage and... Um, drown. I mean, there's there's still some here, and like I said, utility, I haven't even touched the tree, so there's a lot of blue ones here. Ooh, harvest plants. Now, so what I'd like to do is, if we open up our arcane compendium, um, I already had it opened here, there's different bosses down here, and the very lowest one is the water water guardian and it's recommended level 10 now that's not your uh, your levels down here that's more of your magic level so the water guardian is a unique being um, it is always in a state of fluidity making it able to shrug off occasional attacks occasionally it is a trickster as well uh, flowing into copies of itself and attacking from ambush if one is fooled by the decoy Basically, what that means is it has a couple of different abilities. One of them is it can split itself into three. And if you attack the wrong one, then... Or basically, all of them are going to attack you. 
it can also uh, drown you. And what I mean by that is, say you're swimming in water, it will make you sink no matter how hard you try to fight to get to the surface. You just, you sink to the bottom. So that can be really nasty. Uh, it has a couple of other different abilities, but for the most part, it's not too hard of a guardian. Now, what we have to do to summon this guardian is we need to create a redstone inlay in any biome that is pre uh, predominantly water. And we have to wait for it to be raining. And then we can throw in a boat and a bucket, and it'll spawn the water guardian. So let's look at the redstone inlay. So if we go here, and we look up redstone, it's right there. Redstone inlay. So we're going to need some Vintium dust surrounded by some redstone. Well, that's really easy for my system to take care of. And I'm probably going to need eight of them. Because I have to make a circle. Well, in Minecraft, a square. And uh, eight is the, the magical number for a small square. Now, we're also going to need to find a water biome. But, you know... I don't want to have to fly out somewhere every time that I want to fight the Water Guardian. So I was thinking about maybe making a Mistcraft book, but the way that these work is you can only teleport to another dimension, and that's why I have one for the Nether and one for the End. But I can't put... there's no water biomes in the Nether, and there's none in the End. So. I'm kind of at a loss. I can make a new dimension and make it predominantly water, but on the server, you know, that's really going to cause a lot of lag. So there's something that we can do. Let's see if we have any ink in our ink mixer. Doesn't look like we do. So let's take our paper out first. And do we have any ink sacks? I have a couple. So let's go ahead and get us uh, some ink here. And, or is it just one? I thought it was two and a, oh, I need filled water bottles. Let's see if I have any water bottles. I do. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these. We'll just make four. And we'll throw our empty bottles back in here. And what I can do is throw the ink in here. Now there's different additives that we can add. And one of them is gold. And I think I can just use gold nuggets. That's probably the best way to do it. Let's see if it'll let me add it. Nope, doesn't look like it. So let's grab some gold. Now, I don't have a lot of gold, so I kind of want to be a little bit sparing on it. I might need to get a gold crop going. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I have plenty of redstone, so let's see what we need to get uh, a gold golden seeds here. So we're going to need strong magic essence, and I don't think... Oh, I already have some. Perfect. Now, I did teach my system how to make them. So at any time, if I if I need those magic essence and I don't have any, I can always just request a couple. So let's see. I'm still working on diamonds because I don't have enough there, really. And redstone and glowstone. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take half of these away. And then what I can do is just go ahead and plant one gold seed here and one gold seed here. And what will happen is my golem will go ahead and as he gets a second seed, he'll go ahead and plant them, you know, next to this one. Now, the problem is, is he might go ahead and plant some glowstone, um, you know, here next to these if he gets a second seed from those. And same thing with the redstone. So I might just have to keep an eye on it and after these fill up, you know, see what plants are what, and then go ahead and um, 
go ahead and you know move around uh, the different plants. And we might as well just go ahead and throw let the broom pick that up. So that should get us a little bit more gold. And the nice thing is, is it'll get us gold ore. And the gold ore, we can go ahead and, you know, throw through our extractor. And I still have a whole bunch of iron going through the system here, too. Let's see how we're doing for iron. Yeah, see, just from running it a little bit with the magical crops, I have so much iron, it's, it's, we're, we'll be good for a little, uh, good while. And then I still have 204 ore for it to process, not including the 64 that's sitting here. So let's see, is it gold? It's not letting us do that either. Let me let me find out what I need. What I want is to get the intralinking. And intralinking basically lets us uh, teleport within the same dimension. It might be golden apples. Let me just find out, and um, and I'll be right back. Okay, looks like I was close. It's actually gold dust. Now, I don't know if pulverized gold will work, so let's just try one piece. And we'll let that go. Okay, and I'm going to throw these back in here. I have a lot of Certus Quartz, um, so I'm running it through as dust. So let's see if pulverized quartz works, or pulverized gold works. Yes, pulverized gold does work. And we can see here, now it's changing colors. So the uh, the different colors correspond to different modifiers that are on here. And I believe the red is disarming. The green is interlinking. And I'm not sure what the white is, but we don't want disarming or uh, whatever the, the white is. So we want the green, so we're probably going to need to add some more gold dust. So let's go ahead and pulverize up a good amount of gold. I'm going to let this uh, go ahead and run through. Actually, you know what, we'll just grab what it what it's making right now. Let's see if we can get this working the way that we want it to. Now, the longer it stays on a specific color, the more chance that when we put our paper in that we're going to get a uh, we're going to get that modifier. Now, it can have more than one modifier. So see how it's staying on the green for a good little while and then the red just kind of goes away real quickly. So we wanted to get it, see if we can get it to stay on green. So, so far I think we've put in about six of them, five or six. So we still have red. So green's staying really long. And looks like the red's just kind of going just a little bit. Let's see if we can almost get it to uh, stay green. Hmm. You, you know what? I don't want to use all of my gold, but I'm just going to put this last little bit in here and see what we get. So red's almost non-existent, and green looks like it's the, the real uh, long one here. So let's go ahead and just see what we get. Intralinking, that's exactly what I wanted. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and make a book. And we'll go ahead and make an unlinked link book with intralinking. That means that we can use it in the, the same uh, dimension. And just for right now, I'm going to go ahead and set this one right here to our base. So that's the one to our base. And just so we can keep them separate, let's go ahead and put that one here in my knapsack. 
So that's to our base. Now I'm going to pulverize up uh, some more gold. I might have to wait for some of the plants uh, to grow. Or I might have to go, you know, farming or mining for, for some gold. And what I'll do is I'll make another interlinking book. And then, then we have to go find some place that we actually want to build the arena for the Water Guardian. Okay, so I was able to get one more interlinking book. I did end up using all of my gold except for one. And that's because I'm going to need one piece of gold to make the next item that I want. And I want an angel block. It's from Extra Utilities, and it does use one piece of gold. And that's the last piece of gold you can see right there. Now the cool thing about the angel block is you can place it anywhere. And I mean anywhere. I can place it in the air. And it's basically breakable with just one hit, just like if you were in creative. So we can place it down and just hit it and it's broken. And it doesn't drop, it goes right back into your inventory. So now what we should be able to do is Actually, before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and get some bricks. So I'm going to get just a couple. Uh, let's request a couple stacks. And it'll go ahead and make whatever it has for with stone. And then the rest, it will go ahead and um, cook up the stone and make us some more. And that'll probably be okay for right now. It'll go ahead and make uh, some more once it cooks the stone for it. And if, if we wait, we can see. At least it should be. There it goes. And the other thing that I'm going to want is a couple of book stands. So I can take two sticks and I just need a piece of wood, which I should have some in here somewhere. Oh, let's just type in... There we go. See, lots of planks. And we're going to want two book stands. Obviously, one of them is going to be here, or actually, we might even put it in here. Since it's going to be a water guardian for Ars Magica, we can put it in our Ars Magica room. So let's go find a good place that's predominantly water. And I think out... Um, Probably out this direction, because Pyro's base is over there, Krillik's base is that way. Let's go this way, and I'll go find a good spot for it, and I'll meet you there. Okay, this looks like a good spot. It's predominantly water. It's an ocean biome. So, maybe we should go down a little bit. So we're just a little bit off the water. Okay, that's that's probably far enough. Unfortunately, stopping with the broom is a little harder. And let's go ahead and place our angel block right here. And then around our angel block, we can go ahead and put... Let's see if I can move just a little bit away. There we go. Oop. Oh, stop. I kind of want to get right on top of this here before I dismount my broom. And right here. Perfect. So now I should be able to just go ahead and build out a nice little platform. And we can go ahead and get rid of this. And we can build uh, basically a, an arena kind of thing. It'll It'll basically just be a room that um, we're fight the, the boss in. So let's go ahead and build this. You know what I should have brought with me? I have a builder's wand. Well, the nice thing is, is I can just go ahead and plop my book down. Now I want to take this book and I want to link it to here. So there we go. It's linked to here. Oops. And I want to pick that back up because I don't want to lose it. 
and we can take the one from our base and go ahead and throw it right in here and because it's interlinking even though it's the overworld we should be able to link right back to our base that was a little weird and what I can do with this one is bring it over here now I'm gonna put another nexus right here so maybe we can just put this right on top here and go ahead and throw that book in there and that's to the water guardian perfect so now we're back at our base and looks like it's just starting to get dark so let's go ahead and sleep real quick and then now I can just grab my builder's wand I thought I had a builder's wand did I maybe it's in my back here there it is ah so I did have it on me well since we're here we might as well grab some more bricks um, I guess that's all it was making so let's go ahead and tell it to craft some more and then we can go right back to where we were building that platform now unfortunately since I don't really have a, a good form of like creative style flight um, this is you know I'm just gonna have to do this slowly but what we want is just a nice size room so we should be able to get that pretty easily uh, here with our builder's wand now I probably do want a little bit of a staging area in case I need to run away or um, or you know in case in case um, I don't beat him and I have to come back and I don't want him to basically attack me as soon as I you know teleport over so let's see that's one two three four five six that's pretty good so one two three four five one more so we do six and then we just go ahead and and fill this in here perfect um, and I want to actually take this back just a little bit farther so probably am I out of bricks looks like I'm out of bricks let's see if we have any more finished Is it not crafting them? You know what? I don't know if the chunk loaders are working like they're supposed to. It seems... Oh, it's full of iron, so it's waiting to try to... Hmm. Well, that's a problem. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit of time, because it looks like it's it's waiting to craft these uh, these bricks, because it's going through the iron that's being processed in my extractor upstairs so I'm gonna have to well you know what we can just grab a little bit of cobblestone and by a little bit I mean a couple of stacks and we just throw since this furnace isn't doing anything we can throw some in there and we can throw some in the furnace upstairs here too it's still going to take a little while, so what I'll do is go ahead and make some bricks manually. Now when my system's not running through this much iron, then it's not going to be a big deal. I can just request the bricks and it'll go ahead and make them. But since it is running through so much iron, because um, basically what I ended up doing was taking all the iron essence and making it into iron ore. So, I'm going to have to give this a little while to finish up, and I think, yeah, my pulverizer's done. That's good. And you can see here, 
we have a lot of Certus. So all of my Certus is done processing, and now we just have to finish off the iron, which I don't think there should be very much left. Yeah, 135. So it's, it's going through it. It's just a slow process because, I mean, it has so many different stages, and the fourth stage here is the slowest. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some more bricks, and I'll probably finish off part of that room. And then we'll come back, and there's a couple uh, other things that I want before we uh, do the battle. Okay, so it looks like we're just about done. I got the last little bricks, a uh, little bit of bricks that I'll probably need. And just because we're uh, of the time for this episode, what I'm going to do is put... Just like so. Now I plan on putting something else here, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a door. And I also brought some clear glass. So I can just go right across the top here and then just extend it out. Nice. Now um, I'm going to do the same in here with the clear glass. And just go all the way across. Basically, just do the whole roof. Hopefully, I brought enough. But this should make a nice size room for us to do a battle in. See? I mean, it's, it's pretty decent size. And... There we go. Last little bit right here. Perfect. So that should be all covered up. We don't have to worry about um, about anything getting in or, or us getting thrown out or who knows what. And what we can do is we take our redstone inlay and we just go just like this and create a circle. Now we are going to need a bucket of water and a boat to throw in here, but if you remember in our arcane compendium, it does say um, while it's raining. So I'm going to have to wait for it to rain, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab a bucket of water and a boat, and as soon as it rains, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I wanted to clean up this area right here. As soon as it rains, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back, and we'll go ahead and fight him. So there we go. It's raining, and I have everything stored in here. I also have a couple of uh, extra buckets of water and boats. Let's go ahead and do this. So we just need to throw a bucket of water and a boat, and there he is. Water Guardian. Ah. Heal, heal! Why is it not casting my heal spell? I was out of mana. Okay. Now, luckily I didn't lose anything. Let's go back and let's try this guy again here. Let me get a little bit of mana. The best place for me to regen mana here is probably going to be right at my light nexus. Yeah, mana regen. Okay. I know why I ran out of mana so fast. I had it in the augmented casting mode. See the half moon? If I have it in that mode, it takes a lot of mana to cast. I don't want it in that. So let's try this again. And I think I'm going to use my sword more. Heal, heal, heal. He's much easier when I have mana. 
Let's go ahead and see if we can hit him with a... Do I not have any more mana? Oh, got him. So there we go. Infinity Orb. And what we can do is go ahead and just right-click on this, and we've gained a blue skill point. We also get some of these Water Essence, so that'll be nice to, uh, to have when we get more into Ars Magica. Now, next episode, what I'd like to do is go ahead and improve this room just a little bit. There's something I'd like to put right here, but we don't have the time this episode to do it, because a door is a little bit hard to use if I have to run in, a, in an emergency, like running out of mana. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, I will... See you guys later.